All right, so this is the bed that we picked up uh, from Amazon. It's a twin bed, a white Dorel twin bed, wood frame. Uh, I picked one up for my son, uh, and we put that together. Uh, he got uh, the, the black one, as you can see, and it turned out really nice. Uh, so now we're putting this white one together, and uh, learned some things from assembling the first one, which is, it was pretty easy to assemble anyways, but uh, this time uh, I can kind of go through, hopefully I can help some people out and you take a look and see kind of how it works. So I'm gonna try working with my daughter here. She's gonna help me out. Um, and we're gonna go ahead and put this thing together. I'll leave the link down in the description if you wanna check it out, if you're interested in it. Uh, but the first one's been great. You just throw the mattress right up on the planks and uh, you don't need a box spring. Well, here we go. All the pieces, those are gonna be the bottom uh, feet of the, there you go. You wanna start wiping it down, sweet pea? Wipe down those spots that are dirty. These are going to be the supports for the headboard. So those are going to be in the outside. These will be the other pieces inside the headboard. Okay, these are the side rails. And um, these two, one will be at the bottom and one will be at the top as part of the headboard. So the headboard has three pieces. One of those and these two. The other one will attach to the bottom of these. And then you got these uh, pieces that'll go on the platform. Um, and those slates will screw into the side rails. So first thing we wanna do is start putting the headboard together. And we'll use the wooden dowels that come inside here. Um, and I'll show you how you wanna get it lined up. Now, this is an important step here. You wanna put those, those uh, uh, the wooden uh, dowels there, put them in. Oh, Sarah, don't step on that. Don't step on that. You'll break it. Okay, don't put the screws in yet. You put the wooden dowels in, and then make sure you slip all three of these in, essentially around the same time. Don't secure one and then try to sneak the others in, because you might have to bend it open again, because it's already narrowed it. So make sure you line all three up. It's okay, baby. Let, let go, let go, let go. Leave it alone. We don't want to take it out. We, we don't want to take it out. So you're going to put one in, one in, and one in and then you're going to do the same here so you want to try to do them at the same time put them all in okay and then we'll put the screws in those pieces in on the side should look like this okay now for the side handles here or the side the posts i like to use a drill here but i don't tie it too hard because i'll just hand tighten everything at the end but those are the final pieces that you'll put in after you fit in the the wooden dowels. Now we'll move on to the foot uh, part. I did here, my daughter was holding the headrest, uh, so I made it a little easier. You're supposed to start building the foot part first, but I just put these in, I loosely screwed them in on the top, and you're screwing these in using these screws. So basically you're just taking this nut off, you're fitting it in, you're sliding it into that corner, and then you screw into it from that side. So I just put these loosely in. You need this? Yes, you need that, baby. That's your uh, going to be the wood planks that you're going to set across the top here to rest the bed directly on. And why I like this bed, too, is you didn't need a box spring. You know, they have a little mattress here. Just take the mattress, throw it right on top. You can also add a plywood sheet if you want to reinforce it, make it a little stronger. But, you know, these guys are 50 pounds a piece. This should last us for at least a couple years. Then maybe we can put a piece of uh, plywood under there to make it a little stronger. Another reason I like these beds is they're very low off the ground. They're low profile beds. Um, I'll show you my son's here since it's fully assembled already. But you can see it's really low off the ground. If they roll off the bed or fall, getting on's easy, getting off's easy. Um, they're great, especially for the money. All right, let's move on. Let's do the footrest. And then you're going to take those bottom pieces again. You put those wooden dowels in, slip them both in with the wooden dowels, and then you're going to use these screws and you're going to screw that in to that to secure it. Okay, so that's the foot part fully assembled. And then basically, just like we did the top there, we're going to it's do it on simple. the bottom. It's simple to do this. It is very simple. You're right. And these basically, again, you're taking these all the way out. Okay, you're fitting them into these holes. Make sure the screwdriver part 
it's facing this way and then that you line up the holes because basically your screw is gonna come in through there and meet this. And then if it's a little off, which is probably the most frustrating part of this, sometimes it twists while you're trying to screw it in, you can just twist it with a screwdriver and adjust it, okay? And pay attention to this because the straight way, see, that means it's the, the hole is, is lined up with the long way. See how that's long? So that's kind of like your indicator when it's in there because that'll get confusing. So you want it to look like that. Sorry for the focus issues here. You want it to look like that inside there, horizontal, that long line. And then you just screw right into it. Just make sure it's all the way in. So we got the whole thing screwed on together. I'll tell you, I made one mistake. I screwed in one of the long screws that have a finer, finer uh, threading into one of the ones that have a bigger threading. So make sure you make sure you pay attention. Um, it's a little tough sometimes when you got a, a five-year-old chatting with you the whole time and trying to play. So uh, yeah, definitely concentrate and see which screws you're getting in. So we took a quiet time break and uh, we got it squared that way here. Now we're gonna go ahead and put these planks down. Now with the planks, what I like to do is just kind of map them out um, before I start screwing them in. Make sure everything fits okay. You know, and just kind of guesstimate here where everything will be going. And you want the, the pre-drilled part to be on the bottom. You want the top plank to be at the very top of the bed. Yes. And then basically, Daddy, this is F. yeah, baby, it's F. We're gonna peel that off in a second, okay? I'll do it. Okay. And then what you're gonna do is there's these uh, spacing blocks. You make sure the top one is all the way up, and then then you space it. And basically, what you're gonna do. You're gonna screw that in, screw that in, adjust that side, screw it in, screw it in, and then move your way down. Move your way down with the blocks. And then just repeat all the way through. Now with the drilling, again, I use a drill with a Phillips head, uh, and I don't drill it in all the way fully because you don't wanna tear up the wood on the inside. So I'll drill it in, uh, and then I'll hand tie it with a regular uh, screwdriver. And then after I do this, I just go through and hand tie everything. Uh, I use the tool provided here, tie these up till they'll feel pretty tight, remove the stickers, um, and it's, it's good to go. So uh, let me finish this up. I'll finish screwing the pieces in, I'll throw the bed on, and we'll take a look, see what the final product looks like. And that's the bed complete. See how it all looks, you can tuck this in. that part too it's a beautiful bed so you got that bed and you got the black one for anyone considering I'll leave the links down in the description if you want to check them out again I bought them on Amazon I think it was about 120 bucks and uh, they're great you want to try it out hop on Sarah